We back. Drop a like. Out of town setup. So if you see the yellow boxes, don't trip. How many? Four. Four thousand. Bill Burr. <laughs> Fat people at McDonald's, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Get to the ladies talking about body issues. They're always talking about body issues. That's the dumbest one ever. When they talk about Hollywood going like Hollywood, they, they create these impossible body images, blah, blah, blah. You know, that whole thing, the plus size actress, right? The fatties. Yeah, that's like a big thing. They're, they're sick of being treated like fat people. I don't know what it is they're doing. They're going on the cover of magazines now, just like showing how fat they are, wearing a little bit amount of clothes. And everybody's like hyping them up, like, oh my God, that's so brave. That's so courageous. I'm not saying it doesn't take balls, but that's a bit of an overreach. <laughs> right? Like, what am I supposed to do if I ever see a fireman running out of a building carrying a baby and an old lady? Am I going to sit there like, oh my God, you're like a fat actress that takes her shirt off to do a magazine shoot to promote the movie she's in? <laughs> There's always, everybody got to put a meaning behind something always. now. They got to be like, yeah, the reason why this happened is because the stars aligned exactly on this time on <laughs> Mars and this. Yeah, there's always got to be a reason, Bill. <laughs> a magazine shoot to promote the movie she's in. Right. Now look, I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, <laughs> all right? I don't know why, though. <laughs> they're not a race they're not a religion it's totally curable eat an apple and go for a walk yeah you know why are you yelling at everybody else the fuck are you giving me shit for all right you put the cookies in there <laughs> how is this my problem oh my god Jesus right. Christ, you ate your way in, you can walk your way yeah. out, <laughs> all right, and just slow. Yo, Lizzo, Lizzo, if I periodically check this don't trip because we're out of town, we only got one monitor, so we having to make sure that everything's still recording, but yeah, Lizzo, man, Lizzo did all that body positivity bullish, and then get mad now that everybody making fun of her about her body, all right, bro, all right, Lizzo. Start shedding the pounds. Shove some fucking lettuce in there <laughs> instead of a bunch of ho hos, and it's it's gonna come down, and then you're on my side of the fence. Yeah, right? true. Join me. Come on, stay with me. Shame, shame. Yeah, bring back shame, bro. Right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with shame. You're not supposed shame. to shame. You're not supposed to fat shame. You're not supposed to slut shame. They're like shaming, shaming. Like people aren't supposed to walk around with any shame. It's like a legitimate human emotion, but you're not supposed to feel it at all. You know, you're supposed to just walk around like a dictator. Just not, not, you're not going to feel any shame. You never felt shame. You never had a, such a bad fucking night the next morning. You, you, you woke up, you couldn't even look yourself in the mirror. When you went to go brush your teeth, you looked up, you're like, oh, you fucking pig. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Even Definitely for you, done that, that was bad. Lights out, curtains drawn until at least two in the afternoon before I can even look at you, you fucking piece of shit. You're supposed Been to there. have no shame. That's the new world. You're just going to walk. <laughs> what? I've well, been there. I've been there. For what? Because you know why. I told you, you know. Oh, here we go. Ain't nothing wrong, you know. Sometimes <laughs> you ain't going to get you a 10, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you might stutter a little bit or something, you know. It's okay, you know. It's just, we don't always have to be proud of everything. That's Shame, you know, lost <laughs> appetites, like definitely lost appetites. Like, oh, Ugh, slimy nigga, tripping. Yeah, you're supposed to have no shame. That's yeah, the new world. Off. You're just going to walk around sucking dick, you know, eating cookies and just show up. And nobody's supposed to say anything. Wow. No one's supposed to have an opinion like, wow, that's, that's going to go off the rails pretty soon. <laughs> I know it's probably mean to do this stuff, but like you can yeah. only have so much sympathy. There's so much, so much stuff you can care about. You know what happened to me that changed my life? I did a gig in India, right? 
unbelievably great people, but some of the stuff that I saw there, I'll never forget. I literally, I did a gig in India. I saw a toddler take a shit between two parked cars, walked away, no pants or parents, and then disappeared into the crowd <laughs> Dude, like that's, Hannibal Lecter. That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> that's not supposed to be funny, bro. He said, <laughs> come <by> my day. <laughs> For real. Just do the yeah. booty. But Man. That's, that's how it be out there, I see. Bruh. No baby powder, just getting chafed butt. <laughs> That's tragic. Oh my god, can't have poop in your butt too long. Bro. Uh, no pants or parents, and then disappeared into the crowd like Hannibal Lecter at the end of Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> it's one of the most heartbreaking things. I've ever seen that's in my life. That's not funny, but that's... And then I come back to my country, and it's like, oh, the studio said I lose 50 pounds to star in a movie. Well, then start running, you fat oh. fuck. <laughs> that's your big complaint in life. Right. Yeah. You know, what it, you know what it is? You know what it is about these fatties? You know what it really is? <laughs> they have no respect for the amount of sacrifice and dedication it takes to truly get in, like, magazine-level shape. Which is the, you ever try to get abs? You ever try to get all the abs and get that shit down here? You ever try to do it? It's fucking impossible! <laughs> Past the age of 19, you can't do it without tons of help. You gotta buy all these exercise tapes. You gotta read about nutrition. You gotta get a personal trainer having you fucking running along. You need like your own chef. And he's like, okay, don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. All right, now, eat it. Start consuming it. All right, start. Slow down, start, start. Spit it out! Spit it out! <laughs> I told you to stop! Get on the electric! <laughs> now you like that Brussels sprout? Did you like that Brussels sprout? But now you're paying for it. What? It's a fucking miserable experience. <laughs> Yo. Just walking around, your whole body's eating yourself. You know, you want some cake? No. no <laughs> just take a salad. Balsamic vinaigrette on the side. No croutons. Right. Oh my God. When is the photo shoot? I want to kill myself. Uh -uh. It's horrible. You ever try to get fat? <laughs> no! You don't have to! It's effortless! Yo. You can fucking lay on your back watching your favorite show just shoveling shit down your throat. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat. You got a trainer? Don't need one. Natural. <laughs> I just eat everything that makes my sugar salt go like, yeah! Woo! Why is he particularly going off on this one? Like, he's got crazy conviction. He's delivering this like a rap battle. For real. Bill Snap. Yeah! <laughs> Comes right in. Nice roll of fucking flab. Uh, <laughs> no, it's ridiculous. Like, I know nobody wants to be fat, so I'm not shitting on you about that. But don't fucking come at me like it's my problem and I need to fucking rewire myself. No, you're overweight, okay? There's plenty of things that can help you out. This is, everybody's got something to deal with. I'm a fucking lunatic with my temper. This is something I have to deal with. I do. You know, you, you can't fucking stop eating pork chops. That's something you have to fucking deal with. I don't have to completely rewire myself. You know what it is? It's just a bunch of sixes pissed off that they're not getting treated like a 10. You know, at some point, you just got to acknowledge what you are. You're a six. I'm sorry, all right? Nothing wrong with that. Nobody jerks off to a six. That's the deal. Unless you work with her. If you work with her, you know? She's got that one outfit, you know, it just does something for you. You're working close quarters, so there's, you know what a shampoo smells like? There's an intimacy. There's an intimacy there. All right? He's so stupid. Yo. I don't know what women rub one out to, but I know it ain't me. All right? This is a fantasy. That's why I don't I know feel bad I mean. about it. Trashing. It's like, yeah, this is all coming from, I'm a strong five. All right? That's where I am. So I still feel like I'm punching up here. You know? <laughs> Honestly, people, I'm a bald, red-headed male. You don't think there's a glass ceiling on the kinds of parts I can get in Hollywood? Really? <laughs> Do you think yeah. I'm ever going to be the lead in a romantic comedy? Probably. It ain't happening even if I'm booking the movie. I want to make the money back. Right, 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 right. That's the thing. That's it's show business. There's a million dollars on this film. Okay, we're trying to make fucking money. He actually talked about this um, recently at a Breakfast Club interview. Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, and Jess Hilarious. Shout out. Um, but he was talking about this too because they were asking him about like his movies and stuff. And this was just recently, like, maybe a couple weeks ago. And. He was just like, yeah, you know, like I got paid for some good roles, but 
He's like, what I do, how I look, and all that kind of stuff. He was keeping it real. He's like, you know, I'm not going to get certain type of roles because of that. So I respect that. At least Bill aware, you know? Money, you just want to show up with fucking crumbs on the side of your face? <laughs> show up in shape, looking as fuckable as possible. Know your lines. Ready to work. It's called being a professional, right? <laughs> Dude, Ben Stiller had abs and meet the parents. There was no reason for him to do that. He just knew, I'm gonna take my fucking shirt off. I, I don't wanna get trashed. Nice. He was shredded. <laughs> yeah, go be a fucking postman. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. All right. Now, you know what it is? This is just the ramblings of someone who's sliding into the back nine of his life, and I'm not understanding half the shit that's going on. You know? But you know one of the big things that really made me feel old was when McDonald's started making salads. That literally ripped my heart out. I'm like, they're, they're doing what? what? Now they have wraps, and they're doing all of this shit. You know what it was? Was I shape people complain to them. That you're like, oh, you don't have any healthy options. It's like, dude, this is McDonald's. This shit is poison. Who the fuck comes here to get in shape? Right. <laughs> Whenever I get McDonald's, I have a whole plan. At my age, I'm 48 years old. I know what I'm gonna order. I'm going to go in there, it's going to taste great. 20 minutes later, I'm going to want to kill myself. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. And no matter how much I say that, I woke up the demon in me. I woke up the demon and all that grease is just coursing through my veins. And no matter how much I want to go to the gym, there's going to be this other voice going, dude, get an Egg McMuffin. Go down there and get an Egg McMuffin. I'm going to sit up like the Manchurian candidate. <laughs> okay, we're going to McDonald's. It's my in-shape voice. Yeah. Oh, no, nah. what are we doing? I just hit. Okay. gonna drive right down, right? I know what it is. But somehow, out of shape, people somehow got that made them that they had a fucking blame. They had to have more healthy shit because they're the reason why everybody's fat. How come they have to do it? What about Ben and Jerry's? How come they don't have to put a little kale in their ice cream? Why is that? <laughs> oh, because you're a couple of hippies, man. They're like making ice cream. They're going after big bad McDonald's. You know, it's just. Who the fuck goes to McDonald's to get in shape? <laughs> Don't give me that no horse shit that eating healthy is, 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 is expensive. It's so delicious, though, bro. God. The salads? No, oh. McDonald's. Just not like a good double cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Just a... I don't know, bro. I hate when people try to act like McDonald's not fire. McDonald's be busted, bro. And they got the best fast food fries. I don't know about the art. Who got better fast food fries? Wendy's? Sometimes. They'd be a little salty. Man, Wendy's fries taste like real potatoes. But have you seen the test of the fries with the McDonald's and the McDonald's, they stay the same for like weeks on? Because they're delicious. No, because they're dipped in chemicals. Yeah. Deliciously <laughs> dipped in chemicals. <laughs> Mwah, muy bueno, you know? Listen, go to a fucking supermarket. They're throwing the vegetables at you. There's celery, get it the fuck out of here. 70 cents. 25 cents for a banana, whatever the fuck you want. Get it out of here before it goes bad. No, it's fucked up. They somehow convinced them that, that you know, McDonald's is the reason why I'm out of shape. I would have got a salad, but you didn't have the option. So I was like, well, I guess I got to get 52 Big Macs. <laughs> Wow. Thanks a lot, McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. It's not no. their job to babysit you. They're a fucking business. If you order 50 sandwiches, they're going to give it to you. It's your job to not do it, you fucking dope. Right? Oh. Sorry. I know. I know. <laughs> Yo. Bill McDonald's, is hilarious. McDonald's exists for two reasons, okay? It's for drunk people and it's for children. All right? That's what this thing is. Absolutely. You know, you're in your car, your kids won't shut the hell up, you go to the drive-thru. You go to the drive-thru, you get a couple of poison burgers, you throw it down their throats, their little systems can't handle it. They start... <laughs> they start nodding off. You're stupid. And you're up front, you're bigger, you can handle a bigger dose of poison, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pop in your Death Leopard cassette, you have a little oh moment for yourself. <laughs> You. That's what it's for. It's for your kids, and it's for drunk people. Like, how many times have you driven out to a bar going, I'm just going to have one, all of a sudden you had like 11, right? 
and you're hammered, and you're thinking, but you know, but you're responsible. You're drunk, but you're responsible. You're like, God damn it, I drove my car here tonight. God damn it, I'm driving it home. Right? <laughs> I'm not going to burden this place of business by taking up a parking space in this completely empty parking lot for the next six hours. I am not advocating drinking and driving, but I will tell you, there's nothing better than when all your friends and family know you're hammered. There's nothing better than that walk to the car. It's incredible. Women are screaming, people tearing at your clothes. You feel like you're in the Beatles. Oh my God, no! And you're like, no autographs! Stop! I'll be back! I'll be back. Hit him off me! And you, you, you get in the car, Everybody's screaming, get in the fucking car! You're fine, I had a car eight years, I know, I can almost see my house, just get in the fucking car. You gotta make the cops come, get in the fucking car, I swear to God, just get in the fucking car. Oh, take your seatbelt off, you fucking Mary, I'm going right down the street. You I... me? What? And then what happens? You get out on the road, you realize you're way more hammered than you thought. Who was always there for you? McDonald's with the drive-thru. The 24-hour drive-thru, you could just pull in and hide in plain sight, right? And that little sad traffic jam of divorcees, shut-ins. You ever went to McDonald's at like at 2 a.m. and you asked for like an ice cream or something, they're like, oh, the machine's down. Oh yeah, they be trying that all the time. They be playing. They be definitely playing, but. Our drive-thru, you could just pull in and hide in plain sight. Right? And that little sad traffic jam of divorcees, shut-ins, people who go to Comic-Con, right? You just pull in and just stop. You can take a little nap. It's like, damn, thank you, thank you. Right? Definitely falling asleep. Oh, you pull around. That's what it was all about. And now all of a sudden, they're the reason this country's out of shape. You know? They've had McDonald's my whole life. People weren't this fucking fat. Right? It's not their fault. You can't pin it on them. But McDonald's fucked up. They fucked up because they gave in to out of shape people. And they said, all right, fine, fine. It's our fault. We'll start making salads. And then they got on their heels. They got on their heels. Everybody sensed it. And now look at them. Okay? Four or five years later, now they got to make, make breakfast all day. Right? Because you know what happened? All the potheads showed up going, well, hey, man, if you're going to make him a salad, like... Yeah. Like, what if I want, like... That's one thing that McDonald's should have kept is the all-day breakfast, man. Oh, they don't? Nah. Because, like, when they had that, I I didn't even want regular McDonald's no more. Because, realistically, their breakfast would be is what hitting for me. Chick-fil-A's better. I mean, that's not the same sandwich. Of course Chick-fil-A is better. But Chick-fil-A is like a gourmet restaurant, you know? McDonald's is like, try to eat, try to put something in my body, you know? A breakfast thingy, and it's like, it's not breakfast, like, you're gonna hook him up, but you're not gonna hook me up? That's, that's like food racism or something, man. I, I just don't understand. Like, fine, we'll start making, we'll make the breakfast. They just completely lost their way. I swear to God, dude, if I was running that corporation, this is what I would do. You know what I would do? I'd bring that clown back. Right? The clown. Stop. I bring Wait, the clown back, okay? No and I, I just I have that not. thing. Just look right down the barrel of the camera. Have a little bit of dry ice in the background. You just come right in tight on his face. And he just looks right in the camera and just goes, look. If you can't get your fat ass down here by 10.30 in the morning, you're getting a burger. All right? <laughs> That's fine. I'm not making pancakes at three o'clock in the afternoon because you did blow all night with your friends and you're just getting your shit together, all right? Make no mistake, this is a burger joint. It's always been a burger joint. We did that breakfast thing as a favor, okay. you know? We were just trying to freak out IHOP. Ooh, ooh, we're doing it too. We're doing it too. Your own mother won't make your pancakes at three o'clock in the afternoon, okay? So get your fat ass or your drugged up ass down here before 10.30. We decide. It's our place. We tell you what the fuck we're making. All right? That's it. Take him out. Then he pushes a kid on a swing. Something Bilber. nice.
So Bill Burr, <laughs> fat people at McDonald's, man. Drop a like. We here. It's lit. Bye. Peace.